Hi everyone, so third video, um, exercise 1C. This one, manipulating indices to solve for x. So if you watch the other two videos because you needed help, that's great. If not, um, yeah, so it does this. Cool. Uh, if not, hopefully you're okay with the basic indice laws. This time we've got a slightly different emphasis. So let's just remind ourselves of what stuff means. So a to the minus 1, remember that's 1 over a, because whenever you see a, pow a minus 1 in the power or a minus in the power, that means 1 over, OK? So if you have a to the minus 2, 1 over a squared. If you have a to the half, that's the same as square root of a. If you have a to the third, that's the same as cube root of a, you see? So the fraction tells you um, what that root's going to be. So fourth root of a. If you had a to the 2 by 3, okay, remember from our indice law, we've talked about it a lot in the previous videos, that a to the x, y, so a to the x all to the power of y is the same as the powers timesing each other. So this is the same as a to the third, times by 2. Do you see? So you can, it's a two-step process. Now, that being said, this x to the minus 2 by 3, we're trying to find x equals. So something's been done to x to get to this point. And we want to undo it so we can just find out what x is, okay? So <laughs> this one is particularly important to to this problem because there's a multi-stage problem here. You see? Can you see that what x has so far is x to the minus 2 all to the third or you could put it as well that's the same as x to the minus a third squared. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just using this rule because 1 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3 is uh, 2 times 1 isn't it? 1 times 2 is the same as 2 times 1. Okay? So you could look at it like that, or you could look at it like a three-stage problem, like um, we've got x to the minus 1, which has been squared. So x to the minus 1, which has been squared. You see that's x to the minus 2, all to the power of a third, like that, okay, is 4. That's one way that you can see this problem. And those powers can change can change order however you want them to okay so it could be x squared third minus one all right whatever's the most convenient to you so just be just watch out for that key bit of theory okay so hopefully that hasn't confused you but what I'm trying to say is that three things have been done to x and we need to undo them. All right. So first off, I recommend you get rid of this minus. Okay. So minus means one over, doesn't it? Okay. So can you see that if I, I can put all this to the power of minus one on the left, but as this is an equation, it has to be balanced, doesn't it? Which means I have to put the minus one on the power on the right. So if I do something to the left, I've got to do it to the right. So can you see, using this law that we've talked about so often now, this is the same as the powers timesing each other. So minus 2 over 3 times by minus 1 is 2 by 3, and 4 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over 4. Okay, there's some kind of Bermuda triangle in this part of the board, sorry. There is a 4. Okay. Um, <coughs> I don't just like snakes. So x to the 2 by 3 is 1 over 4. And now we remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to get x by itself. So x has been squared. That's what that 2 means, doesn't it? Because we can look at it like that. x to the third squared is 1 over 4. Do you see what I meant by earlier? Like unpeeling all those, those kind of layers. So we need to square root both sides. So if we, if we times it by... The half in the power, can you see if I got the 2 here? And then if I times it by the half on the left, I need to times it by the half on the right. Do you see? So I get 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So x to the third is the same as 1 over 4 square rooted. So remember, that's the square root of everything on the top 
and everything on the bottom, which is the same as a half. Okay, so I've got x to the third is a half. Remember now we're trying to get x by itself, so x has been cube rooted. So we need to do the opposite, we need to cube everything. So if we cube the left, then we need to cube the right, you see? So you notice I've kind of skipped that step now of doing, you know, ev cubing everything like this. I have stopped doing it on the left because I should be starting to see how this works, all right? So that's the same as 1 cubed over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. Let's go a bit faster for the next examples then. <clears throat> so 3x to the 5 by 2 equals 96. So first off, we want to get rid of that number. So x to the 5 by 2 is the same as 96 over 3, which is 32. So remember, we're trying to get x by itself. Let's go through the process. x has been square rooted and raised to the power of 5. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to try and get rid of that to the power of 5. And I'm always trying to find the most convenient one to do first. I could look at it like x has been to the power of 5 and then square rooted. And therefore I could square everything. But I don't want to be squaring 32 in my head. That sounds hot, uh, hideous. So let's do it. Let's find the easiest way possible. So if we look at it like x to the half all to the power of 5, if I fifth root then the left, then I have to fifth root the right. You see? So 32 fifth rooted is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Hopefully I said that five times. Is 32. So we're left with x is a half, x to the power of half is 2. So x has been square rooted, so I need to square both sides. And we get x is 4. Okay? Part C then. Uh, x cubed x to the minus 3, sorry, is 1 over 8. So again, remember, I want to get rid of that minus. So if I times the power by minus 1 on the left, I have to times the powers by minus 1 on the right. So that's the same as, remember, to the minus 1, 1 over 1 over 8. And from our previous videos, hopefully you recognize that 1 is 1 over 1, and that's 1 over 8, and therefore this flicks up, doesn't it? So this becomes 1 over 1 times 8 over 1. And obviously as you get better and better at maths, you won't be writing out all these steps. So x cubed is currently 8, okay, because top times top, bottom times bottom. And then we're cube root in both sides because x has been cubed. So x is actually cube root of 8, which is 2. Okay, end of video.